Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to talk about spring-loaded keys. Now, this is not to be confused with my mechanical keyboard, which you maybe sometimes hear in the background that has physically spring-loaded keys. No, this is actually a way to use your Photoshop tools with fewer keystrokes. And if you have a reasonably new version of Photoshop, you actually already have this feature. So here's what it looks like. Let's say I have the brush tool out and I'm painting. Well, sometimes I might want to switch to a different tool. We'll say the eraser tool. So I'd hit the E key, then I have the eraser out and I can use it. And then probably the next thing I'm going to do is switch back to the brush tool. So I hit the B key one more time. Well, when you bring in the spring-loaded key feature, what you get is just a temporary tool switch. So here, let me show. I am using the brush tool. And then if I want to switch to the eraser, I hold down the E key and then don't let go. So now I'm holding down E, I'm using my stylus, and then as soon as I let go of E, I'm back on my brush tool. This is actually more useful than you might initially imagine. Technically all it does is it saves you one key press. I would have to hit B, and then E, and then B again. And that's fine, and you might be doing that already and not even thinking twice about it. But if what you're doing now is teaching yourself to use Photoshop, and you have an opportunity to sort of establish muscle memory, this can be really cool. The things I find it most useful for are rotating the canvas and then back to the brush tool. So you can just rotate and quickly make marks right afterwards. I find that to be extremely useful and pretty low impact. You don't really have to think about it very much because you're just sort of holding down the rotate key, which for me is R, and then making your strokes. And all the while, I keep snapping back to this brush tool and I've never hit the B key. Another tool that you'll see me using this for all the time is zooming. I love to, to zoom in and zoom out to kind of get a look at my work. Well, being able to snap back to that brush tool is really handy. Another thing you might not have considered is using something like the lasso tool. Because sometimes I'll be painting with a brush, but then every so often, you know, I want a hard edge. So I'll just do a little lasso shape here, and then I'll be painting back inside of it. Well, that's another tool switch that you could do with the spring-loaded keys. So you could be really on the brush tool. Then you could hold down L, draw your shape, let go of L, and then you're back on the brush tool. So this is very subtly different than what you're already doing, and it might not seem like a substantial change. But it's really kind of a neat feature. What it does, in my opinion, is changes the way the software feels. Not necessarily a huge utility bonus, but it just feels a little bit more responsive. And it, again, it's going to be one of those things that you have to sort of train yourself to get used to. But once you do, you might not want to go back. So this works for any of the tools in Photoshop. They just have to have a keyboard shortcut bound to them. And these keys are all just individual letter keys. So you might, for instance, have L for the lasso, uh, M for the marquee, and you could just switch between them with the spring-loaded option. So it's not for everybody, but you should definitely give it a try because, in my opinion, I think it feels pretty cool. So have fun using your spring-loaded keys, and thanks for coming to the site, guys.